So, you're being strangely cryptic as you wrap your magic hair around my injured hand? Ah, sorry. Don't freak out. Flower, clean and glow. Let your power shine. Make the clock reverse. Bring back what once was mine. qualities that it possesses how long has it been doing that exactly uh forever i guess mother says when i was a baby people tried to cut it they wanted to take it for themselves but once it's cut it turns brown and loses its power a gift like that it has to be protected that's why mother never let me That's why I never left and... <clears throat> you never left that tower. And you're still gonna go back? No. Yes. Ugh. It's complicated. Eugene Fitzherbert, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, well, I'll spare you the sob story of poor orphan Eugene Fitzherbert. It's a little bit of a... That's a little bit of a downer. <laughs> there was this book. A book I used to read every night to all the younger kids. The Tales of Flanagan Rider. Swashbuckling rogue, richest man alive. Not bad with the ladies, either. Not that he'd ever brag about it, of course. <laughs> Was he a thief, too? Uh, well, no. Actually, he had enough money to do anything that he wanted to do. He could go anywhere that he wanted to go. And, and, and for a kid with nothing, I don't know. I just seemed like the better option. <laughs> you can't tell anyone about this, okay? It could ruin my whole reputation. Ah, oh, we wouldn't want that. Well, a fake reputation is all a man has. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I should, um, I, I should, I should get some more firewood. Hey, for the record, I like Eugene Fitzherbert much better than Flynn Rider. Well, then you'd be the first. But thank you. <laughs> 